Now then, another season of Formula One racing is upon us. Some teams confident following pre-season, whilst others still looking for answers. Let's see what the future holds for them as qualifying gets underway here in Melbourne. So, Aidan Jackson in ninth, with Alfa Romeo still hopeful that the youngster can secure a decent position. Let's see how he gets on here. Teammate Kasper Ackerman didn't make it through to Q3, narrowly missing out by just 13 milliseconds. He said, oh, you could. If I went out second today, I would have those 13 milliseconds back, no problem. Why do they keep sending me out first? 11th isn't the end of the world, Kasper. You'll make those places back. Yeah, for sure. But I shouldn't have to. Zoe, hey. Morning, Daddy. Lily, uh, you know it's not morning where Daddy is, right? Mummy says you're on the other side of the world. And that's right. Daddy is in Australia. I'm upside down. Then why don't the cars fall off? Uh, Mummy can explain that. Uh, can I speak to her? Don't fall off, Daddy. I won't, Lily. Promise. Hey, qualifying not so good, huh? Uh, they sent me out first. Again? Yeah. Well, some of your best races were coming from midfield. Yeah? Yeah. Besides, I thought you loved a challenge. Lils, off the table. Now, it's breakfast time. I should go. Sure. You'll be great. You always are. Love ya. Love you too. Just push on best you can. I'll try. Right, we've looked at the gearbox issue, but I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Try and drive around it, we'll just have to hope for the best. Remember that you have a lot of torque in these power units, so you should be able to stay in higher gears for a lot of the lap. laps of fuel remaining. Gap to teammate ahead is 2.2 seconds.
front is 7.3 seconds. of fuel remaining. over, take care of the car on the way in. We've witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today and they've taken a fantastic win. Well, what's happened there to Kasper Ackerman? 
still managed to finish, but that's got to be frustrating, Ant. Yeah, it looks like maybe it was a gearbox fault, which is always a blow for the driver. Ackerman won't be happy, but I'd say he's done very well in the circumstances. Well, this isn't the start he would have wanted after last season. Let's hope things pick up for him. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Bad luck out there today. Let's talk about it. So, not a great race out there for you today, Casper. Can you talk us through what happened? Well, it was clearly an issue with the gearbox. Not a great place to be as a driver, but we'll work on it, I'm sure. Well, despite obvious vehicle difficulty, you still managed to finish. How hard is it to bring it over the line when facing such issues? Well, it's almost impossible. You have the race going on around you, and all you want to do is compete. Your adrenaline is up, but there's nothing you can do about it. What else can I say? While it's an unfortunate start to this season, last season was muddied by a tense relationship with your teammate. How are things now with you and Aidan? Well, let's just say the gearbox fault probably wouldn't have happened in Aidan's car. Perhaps it's because I'm more experienced and can handle myself better but the team does seem to be keeping a closer eye on Aiden's performance. We'll just see how the season develops, I guess. Great. Well, that's everything.